Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. Today, I'm hoping that we can finally tame Ilfax, who is actually, he's looking quite formidable. I was just making the thumbnail for the episode and man, uh, it, it's crazy how much he's already grown up in just a short number of years. Like the, the spines on his neck and everything look absolutely badass. Um, Damon the Damaged, uh, well, he's now the Deaded. Uh, has died, which means Moonshadow is a wild dragon without a rider. Interesting. Also, one of you said, I need to check my royal court because... Uh, wait, where's my amenities? Dragon pit funding is a thing. Thank you for pointing that out. Right, we need to take a look at this. So, uh, I assume I want to max this as much as possible. A moderate level of funding is allocated to the dragon pit. And it's dragon keepers with adequate feeding and stimulation for the dragon's health. I gain... Let's see. Okay, so dragon keepers will usually generate with average aptitude. We have a Skagosi dragon keeper, remember? We gain more prestige, hostile scheme resistance, uh, and a court grand jewel bonus. If we max this all the way out, it, it, it's not that much extra gold, to be fair. We get Bella dragon keepers, more prestige, which we, we are very much want to try and steal more eggs in the future uh, and we get even more hostile scheme resistance you know what yes i'm gonna max it out but dragon pit functions as more than a mere storage location for dragons now whole libraries of dragon law exist and a vast network of logistics operate to support the lives of the beasts within my cork and is all the way up here holy crap and uh, it's only expected to be level three i mean this is gonna raise even more probably <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new set of amenities will cost 2.66 a month. Yeah, that's fine. We're still earning 12.3 income. So we've done that. Also, another thing you mentioned, if I go to my laws, if I change this to... Oh, it costs prestige to change. If I change this to house, dragons in your dragon pit can only be accessed by house members. We only have one house of our dynasty, right? 53 living members. How do I even see this? I assume it's just one house. Otherwise, uh, it would pop up with different houses. I, I think so. And there's no different banners. So if I change this to house only, maybe I can get to, to Lothios or whatever the bloody how his name is, the green dragon, into my dragon pit. Let's try it. So we're going to pass this law. Uh, to Logion. There we go. I do it again with a T. Uh, no, I still can't get him into my dragon pit. I, I thought that would be the case because he's not my dragon. Why would I be the one allowed to, to move him there, right? Unless she willingly moves him into the dragon pit. I'll tell you what, just to be safe. Oh, I can't change it anyway for another five years. I was going to say pull it on Dynasty, but it's a bit too late now. Maybe she'll put Telogion in the dragon pit by her uh, her own judgment. We'll see. It would be nice if she could do that. Solfis is still flying around. Um, I'm not going to bother taming him because, quite frankly, I already have Ildfax. Everything, uh, I'm, I'm going in on Ildfax. And somehow I have another child growing in my womb. Very nice. Three more years and we should be able to tame Ildfax. And then we're going to go and start doing things like tax tours and whatnot. Because I think it's important to show the people of the Winterlands that there are still dragons at the head of the kingdom. I think that's a good idea. Uh, until then, I guess it's, it's kind of a waiting game. Personal champion just bloody died of old age, I think that was. Yeah, my friend Cedric died in his sleep. Accolade has lost a rank because we haven't really been fighting recently. Uh, was it the first Sword of Winter that needed this? Yes. Wallen. Recruit 200 gold. I are you taking the mick? This guy is a bloody scam artist. Right, where are you? Can I not just arrange a marriage? Apparently not. Do you know what's annoying? I'm gonna have to dismiss him. It's so annoying that if you have a guest that can fill the role, you can't search for someone else. Uh, right, I'm gonna dismiss you, and I'm gonna seek someone else. That costs way much uh, more prestige than it had to. What am I currently getting? Oh, I'm making my way down to Accomplished Forger. That is true. Also, when we visit all the places on Dragonback, we get, like, no experience. So I might need to wait for a hunt and then manually travel around. Oh, but that's going to take so many years. I, I don't know if that's worth it at that point. My master at arms, Lord Dennis, very hesitantly brings my kingdom, Lord Allen, to me. Ah, uh, you want him to be a commander? He's not a commander. 
If you want the lad to be a commander, pull him in your own army. How about that? That way he can learn the ways. I'm not sacrificing my time and my my money. We've got a dangerous faction. The Lib Oh, I forgot about the Liberty faction. Is this a new one? Didn't we already fight a Liberty faction? A apparently, we're going to have to fight another one. That's fine. Accolade successor has been found. Beautiful stuff. Let's get you uh, forced into service, Bernard. Thank you very much. We're stockpiling the gold. We're getting our buildings built as well, which is all very nice stuff. Let's see. This is giving me quarries. Also, I did commit a sin, by the way. Oh, I've committed two sins. It's fine. It's too late. It's too late. We don't have no God's Gardens left. No, we have one in... Oh, we don't even have one in Hungler. It's too late. Um, that's just... So income fortune. There's not enough building slots. Um, um, yeah, some of you said, oh, it ruins the roleplay. I, I needed to build a dragon pit. I don't think it's, it matters too much. For every birth, it gets a little easier. Yeah, I never cease to be amazed by the intensity of the experience of my own strength. Once more, I have brought forth new life to this earth. In the shape of two perfect little boys. I have had twin sons. Holy crap. Uh, one's wheezing. One's kind of healthy. Um, of course, we have dragons. If the old gods have a problem with me, then uh, I have dragons which are rumored to be gods themselves. <laughs> I know some of you get a little bit more annoyed than others with small things like that. But I, 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 I don't really care. Um, it, it's not bothered me too much. You know, I'm still having fun. Right. What are we going to name the children? Kim, you have gone with the name suggestion, uh, Roderick. If I can bloody type on the keyboard. Thank you very much. And then we have also got Tom Rook, who has gone for the name Gregor. Thank you, guys. May you grow to be strong and wise, my sons. I gained prestige for having twins. That's kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and just make sure they're both pinned in order as well. And I need to make sure that education is sorted. Right. Uh, Roderick, Kim wanted diplomacy for you, so let's organize this one. Thank you very much. Uh, Dalla, you'd be very good for this. And then as for you, little Gregor, you're going for prowess. Where, where's prowess? There it is. Uh, and I should still have my really good captain. Oh, he's already training someone else. Right, Davin, you're going to have to train him instead. We don't get the first choice, but that's fine. Thank you for the name suggestion, guys. Please feel free to suggest another. 300 gold. Ilfax is now 9. He's size 27. One more year. And then I think we can finally tame Ilfax. And then we're going to go on a tax tour. Oh, Lord Lono is hosting a hunt. Hmm. Where is this? Ah... Uh... Just think it's, it's, we got a sail and then we got to go through all this dangerous area. I just don't think that's worth it. It's definitely much easier to go to these activities once you do have a dragon. <laughs> Court grandeur has decreased. It's fine. It's still way above um, where it needs to be. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my cousin, Lady Elenus, has grown bolder. Her challenges no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. She is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give her a taste of her own medicine. Ooh. Hmm. I will give her tasks which are impossible to complete. Also, guys, I I I've been thinking about the whole witchcraft thing. Maybe. Maybe we could tie that into removing the gods' gardens. The gods' woods. We have dragons. We've become rich craft uh, witches, and apparently we worship the cold gods now. It could be a possibility. It could all tie in. There, there is some backing there for it. Um, we'll see, we'll see. When Lady Elenus tried to complete her tasks thoroughly, I scolded her in front of everyone. And when she hurried to get done in time, I displayed her sloppy work for all to see. She bent herself backwards to please me, yet I never acknowledged her efforts. Now she remains quiet, eyes cast low. She will think twice before challenging me again. <laughs> oh, I got a, a manipulation hook on her. But uh, Frozen Bastion Winter has a successor, but I can't change her contract, can I? No. Dixon's educator, Lord Dennis, has just died. No! Not Dennis! The greatest captain that the lands of the Winterlands have ever seen. I need a new marshal. We don't have very good marshals here, right? Uh, I think what we should do then is try and find a new one. Dalla, would you like to... Ma oh, bloody hell, he had one. Wilbert has 26. That's not too bad. 
Okay, can we get someone a little bit better, though? Uh, I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, 20. It, it looks like Wilbert's going to be the lad, right? You're strong. If you would have a child, that would be good. Let's bring Wilbert into the court. He can now serve on my council when he arrives. To the fourth for Domino, I accept your marriage proposal. Your courtier, Della, and my acquaintance, Wilbert, will be joined in holy matrimony. This is excellent news, my friend. The council is now once more complete. Wilbert, you're going to be my new master at arms. Oh, I love your armor. I guess that's reach armor, um, which is cool. Dixon needs a new educator. Uh, of course, we're going to hand him over to the capable hands of Wilbert. Why are you wounded? My grandfather died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't actually know. Sometimes I feel like the memory system lacks the information that I actually want to know. Like, I want to know how he became wounded. But, um, alas, you cannot have everything in life. Oh, dear. But you can have liberty factions. To my leech, it is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Accept the demands of the liberty faction. Or face our swords on the battlefield. Lord Lorik. Of House Karstark. I will not be threatened. Bring your armies. And see what happens to those. Who are enemy. Of the dragons. Elfax, can you just age one little bit more? Uh, second moon? Oh, we're only five months away. Okay. Valley's a huge army. I feel like this liberty demand is bigger than the previous one. I can call on my house member. Let's do that. Little Lord Clement here is going to bring his 2,800 soldiers. Uh, and we will, of course, call on Lord Fenton of the Westerlands. They helped us in our last Liberty War. This alliance is actually very useful to us. Uh, excellent news. You're going to instantly join. That's good. Where should I raise my army? Probably over here again, right? Yeah, I have a feeling that would be a good idea. Also, this red banner can actually get moved, I guess. And this blue one's going over here now. Yes. Not that it matters too much, but it's fine. Uh, let's raise them here, even. Right, raise the bloody armies. It's speaking long enough. Wait, Wilbert, my best commander, is luckily still a part of my court. He shall be able to get this island under control. Oh, I don't have a castellan anymore. Okay, my cousin, you're my steward. What about my, my dragon keeper? He's my captain as well? Well, he's a man of many talents, you know. Um, oh, taxes. Taxes diabolical because of the Liberty faction, I believe. Uh, Ally has joined the war. Okay, the, the, the Westerlands and the Winterlands are working together. This makes me happy. Uh, the young... Uh, Winter is joining the war as well. Uh, and what's this... Prince Vaymond has claimed the dragon blood fire. Ooh. Wait, you're... Oh, you're 11 and you're size 32. Wait, you've grown slightly worse than Ilfax because Ilfax is going to be... Oh, the first 10 years, maybe it's free. And then you said that the size penalty, the growth penalty doesn't come in until after they hit size 30 or something. I think you guys said. Um, which is good to know. So I can keep Ulfax in the dragon pit. He is in the dragon pit. Just double checking. Right. 20 days. We've already uh, won our first siege. Is that the enemy coming? Yes. The car starts are arriving. I think if I was to be smart here, I would need to get this disembark uh, war one right now. Let's let them hit us. Yeah, they're retreating. Okay. I need to. Ah, oh, the embers are coming as well, though. I need to try and buy as much time as possible. We have discovered men at arms. What does that mean exactly? Because we already have men at arms. Um, it will be up here. Size of men at arms regiments plus four. Max number of men at arms regiments plus one. We might have to invest a little bit in our men at arms, you know. 18 crossbowmen we can get. Holy crap. I feel like we should get more of those. Oh... Okay, no, no, no. We have some allies here. I don't think that's going to be enough to hold off, though. What I really need is my Westerland allies to arrive. How long will it take you to siege this? Six months. Yeah, I need to pull a stop to this as soon as possible. Okay, I can ransom you for 10 gold. That's good. How quick is it for me to, disem uh, for me to embark? 15 days. I just want to get away from these armies. In fact, 
They're not actually coming for me. Okay, where are the, the Westerlands? I don't see them. Okay, they're over here. They're at the Twins. It can't be too long before they arrive. Do not fear, guys. Oh, three months? Oh, no, that's in my capital. Seven months. It's even gone up a little bit. That's good news. 25 days left on this one. We're losing a little bit of gold. But we're going to keep training the commanders. Because if we do go into battle, that's going to be very useful. Oh, and Ilfax is 10 years old. Shockwaves ripple throughout the world. Okay, what's happened here? Alaris Valerian has died, which means Sea Smoke is now once more a wild dragon. 103. He's one of the bigger dragons. And I need to try and tame Ilfax. He is an owned dragon. He has good temperament. Let us try it. My nerves bristle as I tread closer to Ilfax. Each step requiring a bit more metal than the last as I pull a nervous sheep by my side. In the darkness, I hear Ilfax before I see him. And he seems to smell me and his meal in turn. He approaches from the shadows until we are staring each other down. Sniffing me and the air around me before he turns his attention to the now panicked lamb. Quickly, I draw my knife across the animal's neck, backing away to offer the corpse to the dragon. Seeming to understand, Ilfax lets loose a blazing flame that sets the sheep's body alight. Then he snaps his jaw to feed on the charred remains. Between bites, Ilfax sniffs at me again, approaching calmly, as if to allow me to pet him. <gasps> oh, just like that, we become his dragon rider. I accept your offer, Ilfax. Let us ride together. And take it to our enemies. I can ride my dragon, right? We want to go for bonding experience as soon as possible. Shouldn't I already have some bonding experience with him, though? A, a, a little bit, because I, I hatched the egg, right? And now I have a dragon. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let us command the army. I should have the dragon now. Ilfax, he's in the dragon pit, but... I should... He still can join me in battle, right? He can leave the dragon. I don't have to manually remove him every time. Surely. Surely not. Okay, my allies are arriving. Let us try and... Oh, I need to wait for the Westerlands, though. I should really, really wait for the Westerlands. I could have checked for Siege, actually, if I could have um, done anything fair, possibly. Where are the Westerlands? They are on their way. Do not fear, my friend. Do not fear. Okay, they're coming for us. They're coming for us. I cannot fight all of these. Let's be smart about this. Yeah, these guys are screwed. I need to be patient and wait for the Westerlands. Please don't go in there. Oh, if the AI goes in there, they are so... Yeah, yes, land up here with me. Thank you. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Beautiful idea. Right, these guys are going to flee. That's fine. The siege on my capital has ended, at least, which is good news. I could go ahead and siege this. It's got a fourth level of two, so I could see if um, Ilfax is, is generally on my... in my party. Oh, I should go here. I've already embarked, though. Loyalist faction has been created. Okay, that's good. One of my prisoners died as well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, there's so many things going through my head. I'm just trying to think. Right, new diplomacy perk unlocked. There we go. So, probably, hmm, flexible truces would might be good. Defensive negotiations. When this war's over, we can negotiate one alliance. Uh, I think that would be very nice. Uh, I'm not actually sieging. The siege is over. No, am I sieging? Yes, I'm sieging. And I can use the dragon. Okay. Let us go, Ilfax. Oh, this was a bit risky. Maybe uh, I shouldn't have uh, used him so soon. Ilfax and I fly towards Rompersk, the landscape flowing beneath us as our first target. A supply wagon that defenders had foolishly left outside the woods grows ever closer. I unleash his flames upon it, and the wagon is quickly engulfed in fire. The defenders' supplies going up in smoke. Just the first of our strikes. A tower, a guard post, and an external stable all fall to Ilfax's flames. While as we bank up from the burning stable below, I feel a sudden impact. And a sharp pain in my side. I just want to say I love the flames of this event. They're so cool. Uh, I shout in pain, looking down to see the arrow embedded in my abdomen. Red stains spreading across my torso. With a roll, Ilfax wheels around to return to our lines. And I barely see the lucky archer who had managed to strike me. Retreating back into the keep as we fly away. Ah, oh, I've become wounded. Okay, at least Ilfax wasn't wounded though. 
That might have been a, a little bit risky. Oh, I've got an aggravated wound as well. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this, guys. <laughs> right, one day and then we've sieged this. Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's return back over here because I want to fight them armies. I need the Westerlands to, to join me, though. Hopefully they cooperate. That's, that might be a lot of hope in there, though. The, the AI can be temperamental to say the least. Right, Loyalist faction has already disbanded. That, that just proves exactly what I was just saying. Um, three weeks and then the disembark penalty is gone. As soon as this goes, we go in. We burn them all. No, that's, that's a little bit crazy. I shouldn't have said that. Right, two days. Okay, I think we're ready to march. We're going to get there in seven days. Yeah, disembark penalty is gone. Let's go, my allies. This is going to be the big battle. So we should have uh, Novice Dragon's army support. Only 20 advantage. Well, I think we can win it with my allies. We have the advantage. Oh, the risks of bravery. I saw high above the bellow of Delve stand atop Ulfax, contemplating our next strike against the foe's lines. When I noticed that Master Eric has already drawn his forces forward. Most surprisingly of all, he is leading in a wedge charge himself, House Linden. Let us take him out. One of their best commanders has now fallen to Ulfax. Oh, we might lose this battle. It's so damn close. Okay, we have the numbers advantage. Reinforcements have just arrived. <laughs> and it seems like we will be successful. Um, Ilfax is still very small and young. This is dangerous. From near atop the clouds, Ilfax, I can see the entirety of the Battle of Delve stand as it unfolds. Tiny arrangements of our regiments crashing against the lines of our enemy. Up here, they look almost like toys being played with by the commanders in charge. My eyes drift to a cluster of rustling banners marking the position of those very commanders. Descending at rapid speed, I see Damien. And most of the other notable enemy warriors are congregated around a single area. A fatal mistake when facing a dragon such as mine. I feel Ilfax's chest swell as he prepares to immolate the enemy leadership of Dragonfire. Burn him, Ilfax. Holy crap, we kill so many people. Are there like big names here? I don't think so. Algri, Cory, Rygate, Linden. I know House Linden. House Loom, House Colwit. <gasps> We're gonna kill a Karstark. And we burn many more. Burn him, Ilfax. Holy crap, his kill list is already uh, ramping up. He's only 10 years of age. 11. But already very experienced in battle. By some miracle, uh, we actually won that. That's huge. We lost 7,500, but we killed 11,000. That's going to put them on the back foot. Uh, we killed a lot of their champions. Oh, we lost... Uh... Oh, only we, we only lost one. Well, it looks like many. And look at Ulfax's kills at the bottom. <laughs> Holy moly. Can I take a look at that? His kill list? He's already killed 17 characters. Wow. What a beast. What a creature. Right, let's ransom you guys. Uh, I know I could have got more for that, but that's fine. Um, we'll take back these castles whilst we're here as well. We may as well before we go to the mainland. The Liberty War, we are winning now, which makes me very happy. I'm very happy that I have a dragon once more. It was looking a bit sketchy there for a few episodes, huh? But we did it. We did it. Uh, and now we have a dragon pit as well. Hopefully when Ilfax's gender is confirmed, uh, they are a female. So we can lay eggs. Otherwise, we're, we're just going to have to steal some more until we finally get a field mode dragon. It's fine. We're, we'll make it work, guys. I should have just embarked here in hindsight. That's fine. Uh, prisoners can be ransomed. I got some more. Okay. I mean, I'll ransom you then. Gold is gold. Thank you very much. Can I get the other ransom in? Apparently not. Right. Let us land over. Let, let's land here. Just gives us a little bit of time to get rid of our disembark penalty more than anything uh i believe good old dorage we can go after the car hold as well ilfax will help us siege very quickly now as well fort level four uh not on my watch it's a fort level one three weeks and it's sieged man i missed having a dragon i still miss you though solfis suvion and solfis the two ogs but now it is the age of ilfax Oh, we got a nice artifact there. 
Uh, let's manage the, the ransoms first. What is this? The blooded blade. The durability is almost gone though. So I'm just going to sell it. 86 gold. That's worth it. Do I want to repair this for 10% fertility? Do you know what? I'm going to say yes. I, I, I do like the, the fertility buff. Um, oh, we can't even go there. We have to go this way first. Oh, yeah, because we have to siege. This isn't part of Dorage, I guess. Oh, I finally understood things. I never look in terms of counties, but, like, I always thought you could go here. Because it's right next to it. But you have to take this before you can go here because of supply lines. I mean, it's not supply lines, but... Oi4 is talking through me. It makes sense in my head, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> As long as it makes sense to me. That's the important thing. Right, 10 more days and we've won this siege. I would love if my allies actually tried to siege something. Oh, you're sieging the king's house. Okay. We should name that to the dragon's house. If that's our capital. Yeah, let's get the car hold. If I can get a very quick siege here, maybe that could be a victory. But we might have to fight them again. 10 months. Oh, it's fort level 18. Okay, that's a little bit... That That's going to take way too long. I think we just go after the easier targets and hope for the best. Yeah, like this, it's only a fort level 1. We can get this so damn fast. After winning another game of Kvass against myself, I cannot help but think that perhaps my towering intellect could improve this game somewhat. But what change would make the most sense? The dragon should be stronger. The dragons can always be stronger. I am known to my dedication and my faith, even though uh, <laughs> we destroyed the gods with. I mean, but I am a witch. The flavor text did say that we worship the cold gods rather than the old gods. So maybe it makes sense. Who knows? Prisoners taken. My maester is, has died of fatal apoplexy. Didn't I have another maester? Yes, I did. Arid, your time has come, my friend. Thank you very much. Prisoners can be ransomed. Another 30 gold there. 70 for... Okay. We're gonna have to go back and defend this. Which sucks. Because we're gonna get disembarking penalties. We're not gonna win the war in time otherwise. And I don't want to risk them capturing like my heir or something. That could be catastrophic. Oh, there's only three months left. Come on, embark faster. Where are my allies as well? I wish you could, like, give your allies a direction and they went there. I've lost the trait wounded. Okay, that's good. I feel like when I land, they're all going to attack me, which is a little bit worrying. But I only have 40 days left to win this siege. Where are my allies? I'm going to lose the siege. I, I, I have to engage, right? We have another dangerous faction. Oh, the bloody peasants are rising as well. How long is left on the disembark penalty? 20 days? Oh, I can't afford to wait 20 days. No, I have to go in. I have to go in right now and hope everyone comes in with me. I need my allies. We're going to have disembark penalties, but we do have Ilfax. Ilfax, I need you to carry us to victory, my boy. Please. Please. Yeah, we only get 20 advantage. But he's getting much needed experience. This is good. The old fax is growing up in war. He will be very useful in the future. Gregor's educator Davin has just bloody died. Right. Uh, Gregor, I need to give you a new educator. You're on prowess. Let's see. Uh, Wilbert, my new marshal. Okay, I can go ahead and train you. Okay, we've actually absolutely destroyed them. Even with the disembark penalty. Oh, because they, they're also in debt. So they're actually... They get minus 40 for being in debt. And I only have minus 30 from disembarking. So we're actually still uh, doing okay. Which is awesome. Right. Uh, a lot of kills again. Thank you very much. And we've just won the bloody war. Very nice stuff. Enforce the demands. Greetings, my leech. Blessings upon you and your house. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. So be it. I have gained a rival in the Boltons. Also, uh, I forgot to deepen bond with Ilfax. I should go ahead and do this. Just so we can max out uh, our bonding. Uh, accolades lack successes. Right, the frozen Bolt of Winter doesn't have one. And I think the, the what was it? The first Sword of Winter. Now you have one. The Frozen Bastion. Palio, 
90 gold. You're 52, though, lad. This is um, a new thing. But I've realized I don't like in Crusader Kings 3. Why can I not search for people? Because this bloody asshole is eating all my refreshments uh, and won't piss off. <laughs> so I can't find a successor. Uh, right, the frozen bastion of winter. Okay, I can't seek for one. We don't have anyone as well. Um, that's fine, of course. Right, are we, are we good? I've disbanded the armies. That is true. We need to deal with all the prisoners now, though. It's a never-ending uh, struggle. You guys are the exact same ones that bloody... Ah, but I can't revoke titles because I've already modified all your contracts. That's the problem. Yeah, they've already been trained, tra traded. So all I can do is ransom him for a hook? No, I'm not doing that. Do you know what? I'm going to banish you. I'm going to banish you. Leaves the prison. Okay, this doesn't affect me. I'm banishing you. Get out of here. Maybe your daughter will hate me because of this, but I don't care. My rival, the Boltons. I could ransom him. He's not going to pay me. Do you know what? I can't banish him as well. I'm going to move him to the dungeons. I can't trust him to go free. Lady Jane. This hurts my heart. Why would you betray me? My own blood. She's in house arrest. I can revoke her title. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to take uh, Vex Dink. She's become my rival now. Can I take more? I can't take this. It's an act of tyranny. I'm going to move her to the dungeon as well. Uh, let's go ahead and tick this so I don't accidentally ransom you guys. Lord Ethan of House Lake. I can't revoke your title. Can you pay a ransom? No. Then I shall also banish you to the Night's Watch. Get out of here. Lord Theo of House Umber. Umber. I can revoke your lordship. I'm going to do that. I'm taking everything. Minus 257 gold. <laughs> uh, I can't banish him. Um, I can't ransom him. I'll tell you what. You're going to the dungeons as well. You betrayed me. And I cannot forgive that. Lord Lorik of House Carstar. Can you pay a ransom? No. Then I shall also banish you. Okay, we're, we're getting through and we... Oh, wow. We got a lot of vassals who rose up against us. Okay. Uh, the Tall Hearts. Can I take your titles? Wait, you're not even my... My vassal. So I guess I could just... No. I mean, I could get a hook. I guess I'm just banishing you. That's for, for, for rebelling against me. You're my vassal. I can't revoke your contract. Uh, titles. Can I change it, though? You must... Yes, I can. Okay, let's take away this. And I'll give you war declaration rights. However, I'm now taking away your titles. Or oh, I can't take away everything. Wh where are you? Why do you have this random one? I'm going to take this. And I probably can't take any more, right? Without it being tyrannic. It, this is always confusing. He rebelled against me. I should be allowed to take all of his lands. Ah, oh dear. Right, in that case, I'm going to banish you to the Night's Watch. You've done this to yourself. Master Eren of Winterfell. Why are you in my... My, my, my dungeon? Um... Okay, well... I, I, I can't banish you either. Right, you're, you're going to the dungeons. <laughs> we might be making a lot of enemies here. House Borden. You have... Rebelled against me. And now you should lose your titles. And serve your remaining days on the wall. Lady Shearer. A fellow winter. This betrayal cuts deep. I cannot forgive you for this. And I will also banish you. You don't join the Night's Watch for. You're a little bit luckier. But I will take your gold. Right. Uh, any more vassals? Lord Blaine. Minus 35. I can't. I can't take his stuff. It's tyrannic. So I'll probably just banish him instead. This is an act of tyranny, apparently. He rebelled. He's going. Right, and everyone else, you've been in here for longer. You've been like four, ten months. So we'll deal with you all afterwards. Um, I can create the High Lordship of the Northern Mountains. We'll do that as well. Let's just... 
let all of the ransoms happen. And then we're going to have to do a little bit of reshuffling around here. Um, I need to find an Umber that likes me as well. That would be useful. Does the new cast Dark Lord like me, I wonder? Not particularly, but they are terrified of me, which it, which it does help. It does help. Right, Frozen Bastion of Winter has a successor. There we go. Let's lock you in. I can create the High Lordship. Let's do this. It just helps keep things organized. The Frozen Bolt of Winter needs a successor now. Okay, I can't, I can't search for the one. That's fine. Right. So, last half. Let us see. If I'm to grant this to someone, I need it to be an Umber. Do I have any Umbers? I do. Sought by opinion of me. Lord John Umber. You, my lad, are suddenly going to inherit some lands. Um, you're going to get all of this. It is up to you what you do with this. But I trust that you will serve me loyally. And manage it for me. There we go. He's become my vassal. He absolutely likes me. Modify his contract. Let's go high taxes. Uh, and I will give you war declaration rights. Yeah, I don't have a hook. That's fine. Right, so these lands are all dealt with. What other lands do I have? Nothing around here. Oh, I have this stuff. Ah, so we just made the northern mountains. My sister... Or should I give it to the not? I'm going to give it to my sister... You're going to get the, the High Lordship of the Northern Mountains. And then what I need to do is also give away um, this stuff. So, Fermont. Let's see. I could give this to maybe someone in the Winter Dynasty. My son. Wait, how old's my, my second child? Dixon could get some land over here. Do you know what, Dixon? I'm going to give you... The Lordship of Pine Scent, my young lad. And also, I should be able to, to grant vassals to rightful liege. We'll do that after. And then, let's see. My Ivan. You're going to get... The Lordship of Holdwater. Beautiful stuff. I need to grant vassals over. Uh, we'll, we'll do all of that at the end. So, I keep all of this. Oh, we have this random land over here. I could give it to the Boltons. You already have enough land. Let's see, we could go title history. Who held it before? Um, Historically, it seems that the Boltons largely held this. I'll tell you what. I will respect that. And return it to them. Let's see, opinion of me. Gregor Bolton, you shall maintain ownership of this. You have the Dreadfort. Maybe I hold on to the Duchy of the Dreadfort for now. Until Andrin dies. We need Andrin to die. Okay, and I, I'm good. I just need to get rid of... Vexdink. Which I guess... No, you've just lost this. Um, I, I, I want to give it to a Winter over here. So let's see. Let's go Winter Dynasty. My cousin, possibly Valar. I mean, he's going to inherit this though. Uh, I believe. No, he's not. Okay. Valor, you're going to get uh, Vexdink. How about that? There we go. Right, we're, we're sorted. Let's organize the council. I need a new chancellor. Dalla, you're due. Thank you very much. Uh, and I believe we are all reorganized. Let's go ahead and do this. Thank you, Dixon. You're going to have to change liege. And Ivan, you're going to have to change lieges. As well. I've messed up my council again. I need a new bloody steward. Harold is my castellan. Right, you're going to become my new steward. Collect for taxes. Uh, and then as for a castellan, Mistress Amira. You're going to become my new castellan. I think we're organized now. I think. We don't have too many duchies. We're struggling on our accolades, though. But I can't actually seek this stuff for a while so so it is what it is i continue to struggle with ilfax's training and fear i am reaching the limits of my knowledge of dragons i mean we're at 100 success chance so we don't need to do anything fair pay a ransom for lord theo is he in my dungeons how do i know if he's in my dungeons or not he's an umber 
I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline. So you guys have all been... Yeah, Lord Theo is not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to leave. You're in house arrest. Do you know what? I'm going to move you to the dungeons as well. These fellas are not allowed to leave, guys. Do anyone else have any, like, gold or whatnot here? I don't think so. You have no gold. I can ransom them, but it's just for hooks. Oh, I can ransom you for a little bit of gold. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ebert, you have free gold. Uh, you shall join the Knights Watch them. Thank you very much. 18 learning. Oh, but we don't need learning characters because we have maesters. Yeah, you don't have... Oh, 57 gold. Yes, please. Uh, I'll take that. Corliss Winter. I'm not quite sure why you're here. So I'll release you, my young lad. Uh, I think you're just an innocent bystander in this. Uh, and I'm going to keep you right. Let us continue. 600 gold. We can go on a taxation tour now. That might be a good idea. Especially now we have our dragon. I got a court artifact. Wait, where's all my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my dynasty banners? Why are my dynasty banners not showing up? They, they are now. That's weird. Leave the court. <laughs> Leave the court. Right, maybe I should wait for the peasant faction to fire first. That could be an idea. Yeah, I think we should. Okay, we don't do a taxation tour until the peasant faction fires. New plan. Ilfax. Still not getting a growth penalty. That's good. You had made for an accomplished commander, apparently. An accomplished commander? That's one way of pulling it. Um, right. Would you like to marry... I mean, I don't have any courtiers free, to be fair. So you're just going to have to enjoy my refreshments for free. Pay a ransom? No. I'm not letting him go. There's no way. The Grey Cliffs. Ronald's boils is spreading. My prisoner, Master Eren, has escaped my dungeons. How have you managed that? Oh, I need to be careful of this. I, I, I feel like it might spread. We need to isolate the capital. We lose legitimacy. But I can't risk this plague reaching me. I take my morning porridge outside of my balcony where I behold a brilliant blue sky. With nary a cloud in sight. Something in me knows that this is not a day to be spent idly inside my castle on the streets of Drihisesk. It is if the old gods themselves made today for a singular purpose. Flight. And yet, I feel cautious. Elfax's last several flights have not gone well over the past few moon turns. He has on occasion chosen to selectively ignore those commands he finds inconvenient. <laughs> commands that are usually related to me trying to avoid falling to my death. Still, more riding time could both improve our rapport and Ilfax's willingness to heed my commands. And it is such a magnificent day. Do you know what? Let us do it. I wish to fly to the skies with Ilfax. My bond does not increase. It's a 100% success chance though. Pay a ransom for Lady Jane. Do you know what? I think she's learned her lesson. She is intimidated by me. No, I'm not doing it. I don't trust her. She betrayed me. I cannot forgive her. The frozen bolt of winter finally has a successor. Okay. Uh, let's lock that one in. Erod, I'm going to force you to serve. The first sword of winter, you're good. So we just need a successor here. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Which we can't do for a while anyway. We'll just wait for him naturally to leave. What's going on here? My captain Elbert has excelled during our recent battles and my court is buzzing with excitement. What an accomplished captain. What a role model. What a man. With all that praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him. Uh, I'll speak well of him. He doesn't deserve more than that. It's his bloody job after all. Pay a ransom? No. They shouldn't have betrayed me. Think about that next time. Uh, we don't need to do any of this. Well, we're at 100%. And it seems that the young Princess Rhaenice has trained the dragon Velax. Man, this is so cool. Demand a trial by combat. Right. I mean, I can't really decline this. Uh, court positions. Let's see. I need a new personal champion. Bernard, you shall serve as my personal champion. I will accept this. And hopefully... 
you are successful. Let us see if he wins. Or if the old gods are looking down upon me. For my crimes against the godswoods. Telogion is 85 years of age. Oh, we won? Okay. He's staying in the dungeons. <laughs> uh, gold is the lifeblood of a realm. And merchants bring much of that wealth. Ronald's boil still spreads across that same realm, however. And Harold has brought me missives from the trade-rich coastal provinces. We can control this outbreak, my lady. Requiring all merchants to quest of themselves before they bring their goods to market will ensure they aren't infected. But... The unspoken rest of the sentence intimate, uh, intimated. There's a scant chance this won't damage the flow of precious taxes. We gain coastal quarantine. We lose a little bit of money. But we gain plague resistance. I think it's important. Keep the plagues away from my dragons. Or dragon, I guess I should say. Can I change the law back yet? To my liege, which... A trial by comment? Sure. Bernard, you're going to have to fight again, my lad. <laughs> oh bloody hell his life is uh, a little bit brutal i might change i want to change this back to close family as soon as i can there we go bernard has won again you shall all stay in my prison the snow has fallen constantly since the hour of the wolf as i see my steward enter the throne room i know the discussion would detail the effects of the blizzard on my hold we could offer shelter and food to those caught in this weather but doing so would disrupt the work going on in the hold Oh, protect the hold for five years. I will not let my people suffer. We lose even more taxes for five years. Do you know what, though? I think it's good. I will not let my people suffer. I will protect them. I will supply food, firewood. I mean, we have dragon fire as well. We could just light a huge bonfire in the, in the middle of the, uh, the towns. I think that would be good. Uh, and there we go. Uh, Mafal has died in my dungeons. You betray me, and that's where you live the rest of your days. What's this? I don't need to do anything here. It's okay, game. <laughs> me and Ilfax are, are, are tightly woven. Hayden, have you had kids yet? Soraya. Oh, yeah, we named Soraya. Of course we did. She doesn't have an education focus. I do remember now. Uh, Direwolf cloaks. Direwolf cloaks for sales. Should I inspect them? I pulled down the large white cloak, feeling the coat in my hands. I can tell the craftsmanship is remarkable. Even the stitch work is masterclass. I close my eyes and smell the cloak. It smells like snow and pine. I open my eyes, remove my coat and thrust it into the merchant's arms while I try on the direwolf cloak. The coat is refreshingly warm. I can tell there is a distinct difference from my wolf fur coat. The merchant clears his throat, mumbling something about time to pay up or return the cloak. Can I buy it? I want to buy it. Do I get something? Do I get nothing? Huh? Is that a follow-up event or what? I got nothing? I spent 150 gold for absolutely nothing. I am disappointed. Uh, Wilbert's just bloody died as well, right? Uh, okay, we're going to need to find a new marshal. My martial position is a, a little bit cursed at the moment. Do I still have single ladies? Uh, Sabelle is single and a lady. Can you get me a good martial? Boulder. <laughs> what a name. Wait, 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 wait. Could he get Conald as well, though? Uh, Boulder has higher learning, though. Let's get Boulder in. Uh, he's going to educate uh, good old young uh, Raywin, at least. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. That's fine. Uh, I can appoint a worthy successor to the Frozen Bastion now, apparently. Boulder can be that. Okay, we're all sorted. Gregor, don't you need a new bloody guardian as well now? Yeah, you do. Okay. Everything is sorted. Do not fear, guys. Do not fear. Um, Don't need to do anything yet. Did I not? I thought I clicked on you. Assign. There we go. Everything's organized. Okay, how's the plague doing? It's not actually spread that bad and no one's actually died from it. It's not a bad plague at all, is it? I mean, it does give you a critical health penalty, though. Maybe the deaths are still to come. It is starting to spread now. In fact, it has a chance to spread over here, which I don't like. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon, but guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Um, it seems in the next episode... We're going to have to deal with a bloody peasant faction, though. They have just risen. That shouldn't take long to crush at all, actually. Especially with ill effects. Um, but next episode, we're going to go on the tax tour, finally. I want more gold. 
We're going to build up. And then, if I can zoom, we need to think about taking on the stocks. They're actually very weak now. The problem is... Hmm. I can take this. Well, I want more than this. Does anyone have a bigger claim? It doesn't seem like it. So I might have to fabricate a few claims as well. I'm 47. We could probably get away with some fabrication. If we try and fabricate all the counties along here, and probably not all of them, but a nice chunk of them, maybe this stuff, try and get closer to Winterfell, and then eventually take Winterfell, that could be a good idea. But guys, thank you for watching as always. I will see you next time.